Shalom, and welcome to the Parak of the Week. This week, we are studying Pirkei Avot, Chapter 1, the 13th Teaching. He used to say, A name made great is a name destroyed, and one who does not increase, referring to Torah knowledge, decreases, and one who does not study deserves death, and one who makes use of, presumably, Torah learning as a crown, will vanish. The text is in Aramaic, the spoken language of the people at the turn of the millennium. A name made great. As human beings, we love nothing better than to put someone up on a pedestal and then knock them down. One wonders why in the current political environment anyone would want to run for public office knowing that they and their families will be scrutinized for every moment, every word, every decision that they have ever made. Clearly, a name made great is a name destroyed. And yet, when you ask children, what do you want to be when you grow up? very often their answer is famous. So I think the first takeaway from this teaching is don't be so enthralled with your own greatness. Don't seek renown for renown's sake. Use it or lose it. If we don't continue to move forward, if we stop in our learning, then it's like a muscle that atrophies without use. One who does not increase decreases is a good reminder of the value of perseverance. And I think of the words of our own Joan Newman, who is wont to say, whether you say you can or whether you say you can't, you're right. Now, I love nothing better than a student who wants to learn, and I like to learn myself. Yet the death penalty for someone who does not want to study seems to be a little bit harsh. The text can also be translated that one who does not teach is worthy of the death penalty. We have to be willing to share our knowledge. Perhaps we can understand this teaching to say that we will be spiritually dead if we don't continue to grow and learn. When we stop learning, we stop growing, and it might be said that it is as if we are dead. Self-aggrandizement. The true hallmarks of a scholar are modesty and humility. The idea of the rabbi as a professional is a very late development in Jewish tradition. Hillel himself, the author of this teaching, worked as a woodcutter. I think what we can take away from this teaching is to keep learning, don't worry about who knows how wise and smart you are, and with that we can ask ourselves, what is it that you would like to study more in depth this week? Shavua Tov, and in anticipation of Rosh Hashanah, Shana. Tova umetuka, a healthy, sweet, and good year.